One product I've got from Turtle and this is the Balance Tree Frog. Giveaway details at the end. So this toy is for 3 plus ages and it says that it helps to develop, you know, this is a puzzle. Uh, hands, give you hands-on ability, give your kids some balance perception as well as some observation ability. So there's 60 pieces of frogs over here. Multiplayer fun double. Right, let's take a look at the back. Uh, over here, it says, uh, gives you an instruction how to install it and as well as uh, all the things that's included with it. Uh, in fact, there's also this uh, set over here. It seems like it didn't even include here. So let's open it up, shall we? Let's take a look at what's inside. Okay, these are all the things that comes together with it. So let's uh, take it out. So there's uh, frogs over here. Take a look at the frogs. Oh, it's upside down. Yep, the frogs over here. Right, and um, comes with a dust bag. So once you take the frogs out, at least you have somewhere to keep them all. This is like the forfeit, and then the dice, as well as everything else you need to assemble. The interesting thing is it doesn't come with instructions. Nothing in here. The sides, there's uh, basically showing how many people can play. No instructions or oh, that's upside down. Yeah, choking hazard, not for children under 3 years old. Right, but anyway, let's make up our... I, I believe maybe it's straightforward enough. So let's make up the rules on our own. But let's first set it up. Put this base over here. Put this in. And then this over here, just balance it together. In the middle. Okay, there we have it. Alright. Uh, next, what we need to do is we need to take out some of these frogs. So... Let me just take out some of it. Okay. Let me just twist it out. Right. Let's take out some some of them. Okay. Take. Yeah. Let me just turn it. Alright, second one. Third one. Just take five will do. Alright. Okay, we have, I have five frogs over here. <coughs> and let's take a look at this uh, puzzle, this uh, spinner over here. Um, the spinner comes, the cover is a little bit warped, so the spin is not so smooth. Yeah, the whole the whole cover moves together, so I believe that um, once you have it, you have to tape it down, and at least you can spin this arrow over here. And as you can see over here, these are like the four feet you have to do if you lose the game, rather than you know um, each player taking turns to spin this and probably do certain things. Um, and then it comes with these dice over here. It doesn't really give an instruction on how these dice works out. But I believe it means to say... Um, yeah, I mean, another part of it is... Whether are you <clears throat> supposed to put the frog up? Or are you supposed to take the frog away from it? I'm not too sure so on the rules itself. Um, maybe we can play either way, you know, uh, on it. So let's just um, play the way to say if I roll the dice, you know, I have to put a number of frogs on top of it and then hopefully, you know, it doesn't it doesn't drop. Okay, and I believe the player that makes the thing drop will be the one that loses. Right, so let's see. In fact, based on uh, this box over here, you're supposed to fill the bottom part with water. Though uh, it's not really necessary. Yeah, okay, let's try and see whether how how is it played so if i would roll the dice over here um wow it's a six and i only plug five five frog but it's okay i think uh, let's just try and slowly put one by one and take a look okay so let me just put one frog over here all right it, there's not much weight actually oh there is there is okay so it did hit a little yeah, let's just put it at the extreme end over here yeah it did it did move some more over here let's see how much you can tilt Actually not much. Because these frogs are really light actually in fact. 
Oh, okay, okay, that that yeah, it moves. And um, actually, the thing is, uh, it seems like it's dropping, but it didn't drop because of all the groove. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, let's just put one here, nearer here. See if we can balance it out. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. But it haven't even dropped. I mean, the the tolerance is really high. Right. Oh no. Okay, it start dropping really. Right. So I I guess um. The game, the the, I'm not sure. So what you got to do with the 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 dropped frog? Whether is that signify that the game ends? But since there's no rules, we can make out on our own. So I believe you can make it such that you know, as long as you drop any of it, you know, the game ends, and then the the player that dropped the frogs loses, right? Or if not, another way we could play is that um, we could say that these frogs that you know the player made drop will be given to the other player as you know um. These are the number of frogs that they want. So at the end of it all, you can calculate the number of frogs that you want. So it's really versatile. Uh, and uh, actually, the thing is, the, the fun thing is that you don't know when you get tipped over because, you see, as you can see, in fact, if I were to balance this out, and let's see uh, if I were to slowly lower it, I put five frogs over here. And if I slow, slowly lower it, will it not drop? Oh no! You drop. Okay, so five frogs like that. It doesn't. It doesn't help. And as you can see, the base plate over here. You know, it can actually. They have a lot of tolerance, so you can actually tilt until like that, and it can just stay that way, right? So there's a lot of tolerance over here, and uh, I believe uh, what you can do is also you know if you want to play taking off the frogs from the base plate, you can actually put it first uh, on a flat surface. Put all the frogs up first. Like this, and then you balance it out. So if you maybe let's let's try uh, let's just make it a shrimp because because I only got five frogs right. So let's just spread it them all out, and let's make this part a little bit more heavier, and let's put it up here. See how it, what what happens. You see, in fact, the thing is, even though you have more frogs at the other end, but it seems to be able to. Um, Balance it out very perfectly. So maybe you can play the takeaway frogs. You know, if you have put all the frogs on top of it, maybe we can say let's do a takeaway. Let's take away this frog and see what happens. Mm, nothing happens. Okay, the funny thing is I would I mean we expect to, to fall the other way, but let's just try and see. If I slowly remove it, oh yes, it will definitely fall. Oh but but the frogs are still there. So you could still say that um anyway the frogs didn't fall, the game continues. Yeah. And I think that's really interesting. The um, I mean, the amount of tolerance it can actually hold, and that makes it more dynamic. This whole game dynamic. And after you know, if you, I mean, the dice is there to to, to let you, um, like to let you know how many frogs you know you should put on or take off. So I think that game that adds a little bit of a randomness to the game. And at the end of it all, you know, if you lose, you just spend spin this wheel over here. Uh, just for fun, okay, but I believe that uh, once you win this, uh, you can just take it out. Oops, okay, I just need to knock it over. So you spin it, and uh, let's see what this arrow landed on. They say, talk about your interests. Yeah, there's some quite interesting one, like sing a song, rock, paper, scissors. Kiss your favorite. Work out a math problem. Yeah, guessing riddles. Tell the truth. Turn it again. Kiss that. Yeah, there's dance. Massage your family, right? So um, I, I think it's really interesting. This is like a wheel of forfeit, you know, that whereby you can just spin if you lose, and you know this is what you need to do. Yeah, but uh, the interesting thing is he didn't even mention about this in the. I mean, when he shows what's in the content in this box, right? Yeah, so I, I believe overall this is a pretty fun game. You can play with your kids, play with your family. Um, and it's pretty versatile. You can put on, you can play as a put on game or take off game. No instructions are uh, over here. You can actually, uh, and then how do you score it? Um, whether is it about uh, once you drop, you know, the opponent keeps the frog, or the moment it drops, you lose a game. Yeah, they didn't say so. Uh, yeah, anyway, they encourage. They encourage multiple play, multiple people playing it. Like uh, you can play alone, you can play double, you can play multiplayer. Right, so I guess this is a very fun game. Okay, so uh, we've come to the end of this video. Uh, let me just put some frogs over here just to make it look nicer. 
yeah so we we'll come to the end of this video and if you uh let me just uh, give some if you would like to win this we we'll come to the giveaway part okay um you can take part in this giveaway as long as you have a singapore address i can deliver to so to take part uh write in the comments below with the number one and if you win i'll try to contact you via the comments below so do remember to check back and the contest ends on the 16th of march two three five nine hours uh, of course, I mean, um, if let's say there's no one that took part in this contest and if you're viewing it at the later, after, uh, even past 16 March 2024, if you're the first one to respond, you know, you guarantee get it. I will contact you. So um, do do stay uh, check back on this. Okay, so if you like this video, um, do subscribe, give it a like and uh, I'll see you in the next video. See you.